Hi, ladies and girls, it's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat. And as always, out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come in and check out your girl. Yes, if you're new, welcome. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I can wait. Did you hit it? I would love for you guys to be a part of the MQ family over here, as well as hit the notification button. It's gonna let you know whenever I post videos. And currently I'm posting them every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Let's jump right in to this video. Today's video, we are talking about finishing seven by fall. What is Project Pan? What in the world is that? I know a lot of you that are new, I didn't know about the community either until last year, but today, today, I just wanna talk about saving, okay? This is a mind shift that I am going into the rest of the year in because I want to save $10,000. I feel like that saving right now is the mind shift. I'm reading David Ramsey right now. Dave Ramsey, I think is his like, official name that he uses on his books. But currently I am reading Dave Ramsey and I want to save some money y'all. Does anybody is anybody with me wanting to save some money? If you have a makeup collection, I highly recommend you just appreciating some of the things. Now I'm not saying I'm going to totally stop buying, but this is shifting my, my mindset and in order to start something, you have to stop something. So in order to stop doing those hauls so much and doing a lot of spending, unnecessary spending, because I promise you, I have a lot of dupes, which is a whole nother video that I'm coming with. And that's another series, but I want here on my channel because it's a lifestyle change and I do lifestyle videos. I wanted to share with you guys what shift or brain, brain shift that I'm going in right now. It is a form of minimalism, um, I would say, but it's not like hardcore minimalism. Like I'm just like having a capsule wardrobe and doing all of that. I am going to uh, stick to some of the basics that I absolutely love, but I just want to like condense the spending in order to grow my savings. So saving is one of the things that I definitely want to do. And Project Pan really helps you do that because you really focus on what you have rather than looking to reach for something new. So we're going to appreciate what's in our collection right now and we're gonna get through some products. A lot of you guys know that I am doing Project Pan 250. That's 250 beauty products, whether it's hair, body, uh, makeup, skincare. A lot of it, if you guys have checked out my empties, I'm gonna leave a playlist over here. I think I'm on like play, uh, empties number like 16 or 17. I have gone through i think currently i'm at 144 so i'm really excited about what i'm doing right now but i do want to like really hone in on some of my makeup i don't want it to expire i feel bad when stuff expires and i have to throw it away i had to throw away the one and done by urban decay the other day because it was expired it only has a shelf life of a year and I've had it over like four months over the shelf life and I can tell when I apply it, it breaks up and everything. So we want to get through some product and before it expires. So I'm going to talk about seven products that I want to get through and each one of them I do have a goal. So yeah, let's get straight into this video. The first item that I am wanting to completely finish, that's the goal, is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. It is, I have it in the shade 110 Cream Cafe. I've had this a good amount of time. Now it does not smell bad and it looks perfect and it looks amazing on my skin. I do have a full foundation video on this if you guys wanna check it out. This is an amazing, like works like a high-end product but it's at the sold at the drugstore. I like it. It does have a semi-matte finish. Um, it does. It is matte, but I have normal dry skin. In the summertime, my skin does tend to get oily, especially around my nose. So something like this is perfect. So I'm taking the time in the summertime to get through this. I absolutely love it, but I don't want it to go bad. So I want to be able to purchase this uh, again without feeling bad that it went bad. So I'm going to actually mark this and in the first update you'll see this because this is my finished seven by fall intro. So I will mark this and you'll see where I am currently with this. By the way, I'm going to insert pictures. So no problem. You guys will see markings. Um, I have not marked it yet, but in the picture you will see it. The next item, this is a primer. Now I'm trying to use things. 
I'm trying to do things that I use like every single day and this is a replenishing face primer it has probiotics now this retails for $32 I have found a cheaper dupe to this and I'm going to share with you um, the dupe in a in a dupes video but I have talked about it before it, it is the Pacifica there's a primer that I've talked about before if I can find that video I will link it down below or over here in the iCards but this I love the hangover RX I love this but because I found that dupe I'm no longer going to purchase this but I do want to get through this it is silicone free and it's cruelty free so if you are uh, one that likes silicone free primers this is for you but I want to get through it yes and I will mark this one as well okay so this is an eye cream this is the Mac fast response eye cream and I really did enjoy this I'm not gonna purchase this again but I do have still some in here and I want to go back to Mac I think this is maybe like the fifth or sixth item so I want to be able to take those items and go get me a free lipstick lip gloss or an eyeshadow I probably end up getting a lip gloss but yeah I really did enjoy this it does contain caffeine so it's supposed to help with puffy eyes that's why I got it and I want to get through this because I do have some other eye creams that I absolutely love but I want to get through this and finish it up so yes okay so the next things I have I think almost all of them I have reached pan on except one so let's talk about the one that I have not reached pan and the goal is to hit pan this is the wet and wild vanity palette I absolutely love this I need to write wet and wild and let them know that they need to put this back on the market I got mine off of Amazon this is the vanity palette I simply love this it's like creme brulee and I think this is like creme brulee my goal in this palette is to hit pan on both of these shades I use this to set my eye and to sometimes put this on the lid and I use this as a transition shade I can already see a big dip in it I really love this palette but it's so old it's still amazing but I want to I wanted to, I wanted to like hit pan in the eyeshadow I've never done that before so yeah it's exciting to me at the fact that I can hit pan on an eyeshadow and I've never I never have and that's crazy to me because I've hit pan in like two or three bronzers but never an eyeshadow that's crazy the next item this is pink swoon by mac i've already hit pan in this i'm so excited and i feel like i can finish this book by fall because this is like definitely a summer shade it looks amazing on me i do have a shade that's kind of like um from the mariah carey collection that's a lot like this so i won't be picking up pink swoon after this again i'm going to try to go to another blush and really concentrate on my collection that's the whole thing of trying not to purchase things the only thing i can think of that i really want to get at the moment and i have a list and i also have a budget for the month is the jaclyn hill palette by morphe i have the old one i want to get this one and do a review and some looks but this i have already hit pan on i feel like i can finish it before Fall. so I'm really excited about this I already see another dip that's happening in here so I'm gonna work on this this can definitely be an everyday blush for me so I'm gonna work on this the next thing y'all this I am happy and sad this is like bittersweet because I've had this in a project pan before and it was a lot more in here but y'all can see I've hit pan in a couple of areas in this this is the NARS light reflecting setting powder it's pressed because they do have a loose one and it's in the shade translucent crystal it has light reflecting technology in this i absolutely love it this is my favorite under eye setting powder i did talk about that in my top five if you hadn't seen that video yet i'm just spoiling it a little bit and letting you know that this one is in here absolutely love this this is my number one setting powder for my under eye absolutely love it i'm definitely going to repurchase this um, I have some other un sun bleh. I have some other under eye setting powders that I'm going to use before purchasing this but I am going to go to the NARS boutique and repurchase this this is just something that I absolutely love okay and the last product I had to show you my Ofra palette because it has the bronzer that I am working on I've already hit pan in this and this is benefit hula I, I think this is like the second one that I think I've gone through 
I have this is my second one but uh I've actually started working on the other one another one but I saw that I had this one and I was like Benefit Hula is my jam I got to keep this I love it and um I think I can use this as a transition shade as well I can use this as a bronzer I'll find some other ways that I can use it I don't know if I can use it as a brow powder but I definitely think that I don't know if I can get through it by summer but we're definitely going to try before fall we're going to try to finish this that's the goal to finish this bronzer i absolutely love it as you can tell it's one of my favorite and i just want to like really get through it i think i can i think i can i'm gonna be like thomas i think i'm gonna be like the little engine that could and say i think i can so um yeah this is the last product that i definitely want to get through and yeah those are all my seven products. I will be doing an update probably around the end of July, maybe the beginning of August because fall begins in, I want to say this fall begin in, is fall in September or is fall in October? I want to get through these by fall and I believe fall begins in September. I think September 21st or 22nd. Let me know what you are getting through, what you're going to concentrate in your collection. And yeah, also let me know if you are wanting to join something like this. Let me know what you are getting through and what you want to finish. What do you not want to expire in your collection? And yeah, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I will be coming with some more project pans and some other money saving videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like that. It always tells me what you guys love here on the channel to see. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye loveys.